for the first FPSO in the Gulf of Mexico, SBM and Shell took on quite a challenge. The challenge starts with the environment. An ultra deep water project. It's the deepest production facility in the world. Projects to date are nowhere near this depth. The design of the Turtella FPSO moved the industry past some quite big barriers. It's not like any of our other turrets. The turret on this FPSO is bored to the seabed floor. All the risers come in and all the umbilicals go out through the turret buoy. It's three times the size of the deepest current floating production unit's buoy. It's connected into the FPSO hull so the hull actually weather vanes around the mooring system and the mooring lines. And then when we have to leave, for a hurricane, we can close in the wells, release the buoy, which will take everything down below the surface. We transit away, come back and recover it all, and start up operation again. The anchors actually on the seabed floor are the heaviest piles ever run in the world. It's the largest disconnectable mooring system in the world. It's the first disconnectable system with steel catenary risers. The mooring system with its adjustable inline mooring connector, we can now adjust it. That has never been done. To come up with solutions, SBM had to draw on every bit of our 60 years of experience in designing turret mooring systems. We have never done a disconnectable buoy with a steel lazy wave prices. During the basic design stage, we found that steel BTM buoy was too heavy to support the weight of the risers and the umbilicals. So we needed to come up with an alternate design. It was a team effort with Shell to develop with Shell a custom foam buoy. Foam is a mechanism by which we provide buoyancy to the buoy the buoy will have enough buoyancy not only to carry itself, 31, 50 metric ton, but carry the mooring as well as the risers. We're talking about 1,100 ton of, of weight for the uh, risers that needed to be supported. It's quite a challenge to uh, get the engineering right and get the buoyancy right. It took both new and field-proven uh, technology in order to improve productivity and efficiency on this project. But more importantly, it took teamwork to achieve what we think is our greatest achievement, to reach 18 million man-hours on this project with only one minor lost time incident. SBM should be very proud of its HSC achievements a project of this magnitude and of these challenges cannot be a success uh, without people working together. SBM and Shell worked hard together to implement many new safety initiatives and by doing this we did improve the safety culture of the yard. If you have the proper training, if you have the proper behavior, if you have the proper attitude, definitely we can do it safely. We are proving that. I think the Turritella FBSO project is a model example for SBM's commitment to safety. We're in Walker Ridge Block 551A, one of the most southerly uh, blocks in the Gulf of Mexico US continental shelf. We are 37 hours from Texas, 27 hours from Mexico, and over here, 20 hours to Louisiana. And over there, towards Florida, it would take us 28 hours to get there, all at 10 knots. We're pulling the buoy into the turret. We're going to be part of the outer continental shelf of the United States. Houston, the Eagle has landed. This project was implemented safely in a yard, hooked up offshore and operating. You know, it's a team effort with Shell to design ideas from both parties. For the next 10 years, SBM's operation team will operate the Turritella FPSO in the Gulf of Mexico. 
we have developed and delivered a world class project which we all are proud of i think the turtle fbso is one of the most impressive projects in the world today <laughs> <laughs>